guys so today I filmed this hair tutorial and it's just kind of like this super easy and quick wave tutorial um, I don't really call it curls because it's not really I just went for a really beachy kind of wavy tutorial I love wearing this hairstyle in the summertime especially because it just kind of looks like you went to the beach or this is like your natural wave in your hair and it doesn't look like you tried or spent a lot of time on it and it just looks really messy and fun. Um, I showed you guys exactly step by step on how to use it and what products I used so I hope you guys like this video and if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching. So the first thing you're going to want to do is apply a heat protectant and the one I have been using recently is the Herbal Essences Heat Protection Spray. Um, it comes in a bottle like this and I've been liking this one because of how it sprays. Um, some of them spray out really weird. Um, like I know the Tresemme one I believe it is. I feel like when it sprays out it hits like one area of your hair. <laughs> so I have been liking this one because I feel like it sprays more evenly. So anyways, I'm just going to spray that in the ends of my hair and brush it out to distribute the product. So since we're going for a very volumized look, I'm going to be using two products that are going to help with adding volume. The first one I've already applied and it is just a dry shampoo. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I have been recently loving the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. This stuff is really, really good, but like I said, I already applied this stuff. I am working on third day hair, um, which might be gross to some people, but actually to help grow your hair out, you are supposed to not wash your hair every day. So I am working with dirty hair. Um, and I find that it works better for curling. I just feel like my curl holds better when it's somewhat dirty. It just has a different texture than when I first wash it. And so that's why I apply dry shampoo and it also creates some volume. And the next thing I'm going to use is a new product. And it is the L'Oreal Boost It High Lift Creation Spray. Um, this is going around YouTube right now. It's very popular. I love it. It adds a ton of volume. Um, some people like to spray it in and then tease their hair. I personally don't like teasing my hair that much unless I am doing something really special but if you want to tease your hair for this look you totally can. I'm going to skip it and just add in this spray because this in itself creates a ton of volume. So you're just going to shake it and spray it under your root, like so. And then I just kind of like shake it. This is going to add a lot of volume and a lot of texture to your hair. I'm going to be using today is the Hot Tools one. This is like super old. I got this like freshman year of high school I think. I believe the barrel is three-fourths of an inch. I start from the back. You can do it however you feel most comfortable and I just grab like an inch, inch and a half of hair and for this look you're going to be doing all of your curls away from your face. So I'm just going to grab it and put it behind my head like so, pointing down, and you're just going to start wrapping it around. It doesn't have to be real precise or anything. I'm going to hold it there for about 10 seconds. I do not have my curling iron up all the way. I think a lot of people 
especially beginners. I used to do the same thing. I think, oh, it can go up to 450 degrees. Let's do that. But you don't need it that high, I promise. It's just really loose, easy curls, and I like it like that so that your hair still looks long and everything, and this is going to create a lot of volume and a lot of texture without looking like you have super curly hair. So then just grab another section. And do the same thing. So put it behind your head, pointing down, and wrap it around. You don't have to worry about going all the way to your scalp with this either. Um, you can if you want, but I like keeping it a little bit away so that it just lays really nicely. If you curl um, your curl to the very, very tip of your scalp, it's just going to be a lot more spirally and a lot curlier, and I like having it lay super flat but still be curly and texturized. of my hair I really don't do anything different for some um, hair techniques the front sections are a little bit different but you're just gonna keep going away from your face just like everything else so again you're gonna bring it around if you were curling your hair towards your face you would put the barrel in front of your hair and wrap this way if you're going away from your face you're gonna put it behind and start wrapping this way For this part, you're just going to want to finger comb your hair, loosen up the curls, and make them look really tousled. And then I also like putting a little bit more of the creation spray and just kind of putting it all over my hair. And then that is kind of what you're left with. this look because it's super easy and quick. It actually takes me longer to straighten my hair than it does to do this hairstyle. But anyways, I hope you guys liked this tutorial and if you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I know to do more hair tutorials. If you have any video requests, please leave them down below in the comment section because I am totally open for suggestions. I want to know what you guys want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!